Hype Soul stereotypes based off of your build. Let's get right into it. We won't be mentioning any hybrids just because there's too much. And also make sure to like and subscribe because I'm trying to hit 4k subscribers by the end of the month. So help me out with that. Let's get right into it. Alright, to start this video off, we have the worst type of type soul player, and that is the keto users. I've decided to put them all into the exact same category because honestly, these guys are pretty much the exact same, no matter what race they are. 99% of the time, if you fight a keto user, they're probably going to be pretty trash at the game. They're either a PvE player who only does boss raids, which for some reason type soul has, or there's somebody who's kind of just trash at PvP, but they want to actually win fights, so they hopped on keto and they button mash on their keyboard. Sometimes when people want to just win and they're trash, they play Hakata. But, you know, if they're too trash for even Hakata, they'll hop on keto. In this clip, you guys will notice me dumping my entire Musa into this person and they still don't die. That is just because one, Aronkar has crazy tankiness and two, speed just sucks. And also, for some reason, the developers decided to buff keto recently. All of their moves now take less Riatsu, so they're basically just able to constantly spam you with moves. I know SR Keto does have a thing where some moves put each other on cooldown because they used to be able to and still are able to with some moves just straight up infinite combo you, but Aronkar Keto and Quincy Keto don't follow that. So whenever you fight a Quincy and Aronkar, you'll see them with Bloodbane or a Hero, so they'll be extra tanky and they'll just be able to flood their entire moveset onto you. I'm gonna be honest, the only reason I even won this was just because this guy straight up just sucked. Like I'm using Twin Blade, this weapon is atrocious it does no damage the crate is difficult to land and this guy is literally on one of the strongest legendary weapons in the entire game like i don't like being toxic but honestly i just don't like keto users and i don't like the fact that this skill tree keeps getting buffed bro like lower speeds riyasu train because speed's actually the worst skill tree in the game right now and um nerf keto that's it for this section There are two types of kendo users in type soul. First off, you wear a mega sweat or you're somebody who's new to the game. Generally speaking, I really don't have anything negative to say about kendo users. Like these guys are pretty chill. Uh, if you fight a kendo user at your elo, they're probably meant to be there. Like for example, if I see like a lower massive kendo user, I know that guy is a super sweat. I know he's actually good at the game. But if I'm in like gold Q or silver Q or whatever, and I see a kendo user, then I know that guy does not really sweat this game too much, but he still has fun on it. Like. I would say Kendo is one of the most fun skill trees in the entire game. It's not super sweaty, but when you land the combos, it's actually satisfying. Like, for example, we got Rising Swallow, and if I air combo with Rising Swallow, I'm actually, like, feeling good about that. Kendo has the most satisfying combos in the entire game, like Rising Swallow into Sonata Flow into Fast Finger Eviscerate, or something like that. It's actually really nice to land. It feels super good to land the freaking Split gate into a vertical down because those are actually difficult to land so that's why I feel like kendo takes skill but once you learn kendo you can actually do some nasty combos. I know there are certain skill trees or moves with kendo where if you pair it up for example with like speed or like certain sheet guys like win for example you could get some true combos but that's not everything like so generally speaking I would say kendo players are pretty good you know occasionally you will see the freaking cheese with the mortal ties like for example mortal ties zongetsu mortal ties benihime like you know, they got some cheese true combos, and those people, you know, I won't say anything about those people. They don't represent the Kendo community, so for that reason, I will not hate on Kendo. Anyways, let's move on to the next section. Medic has two types of players. First off, we got the support player. This guy usually is only playing for his friends. They're usually a new player, or they're a PvE -er who just runs boss raids a lot of the time. If you see this player in game, his friends probably aren't that far behind. But for this video, we're probably going to be focusing on the second type of medic player, the PvP. -er. These guys are mega sweats. You'll usually see them either running blood for extra heals, or like another element such as light, which does a absurd amount of damage and they can spam. They're probably going to be just using the purple move on medic to buff their moves, and they're going to be playing and super passive just because honestly the skill tree doesn't have a lot of offensive potential that's why you'll also see them running moves for example like team on a wrong car advisor just because they lack offensive capability so they're gonna have to make up for it some other way that's the thing about medic fighting medic pvpers either goes two ways first they run the entire game get all their hp back and you end up losing your sanity or you get them in a combo piece them up and the thing about medic is that its effectiveness is kind of just dependent on the player if they have bad fundamentals they're just gonna die super fast you're gonna get all your combos off they won't be able to escape properly however if they have good fundamentals you're gonna have a very bad day and even if you do manage to win it's gonna take like 10 years and it's gonna feel like you actually lost the fight that's why i feel like medic is one of the most annoying skill trees in the entire game and it's not even that busted it's just annoying and uh yeah next 
Alright boys, speed. This is probably the most skill based thing in the entire game and I'm not even being biased. Speed is arguably the worst skill tree in the entirety of type so the biggest disadvantage speed has is if you're trying to play even slightly aggressive by the time the match is over you'll have no Riatsu. So for endgame you're just going to be at a very big disadvantage compared to the other people you're going against. Another very big downside speed has is that it just does no damage. Like I could literally empty out my entire Riatsu bar into someone and by the time they die I'll probably have gone through three to four Riyasu bars and that's why speed is honestly considered the worst thing in the entire game I will say if you're playing clan wars or ganks speed can actually be really really good because you'll have a lot more targets so running out of Riyasu is going to be a lot harder however for 1v1s if you're trying to actually be competitive speed is probably the worst option I would say that's why I feel like the only people that actually use speed are people that want are too lazy to learn other stuff like me or people that just do not care about the competitive aspect of the game like for example if i'm just playing type soul normally i can't stand being on kendo or hakuda because it takes like two years for me to get from one place to another place however with speed my extra dashes let me move around the map in like two seconds which is really really nice so it's honestly the best thing in the entire game for everything but pvp which is why a lot of people still run speed but if i'm being honest if you want to make speed actually viable you'll have to do some crazy mix-ups and you'll actually have to main speed like for me the highest elo i could have gotten with speed was like 200k i know people have gotten better like i'm not the best speed player but getting actual high elo with speed is very difficult and it's very rare to actually see somebody even playing on speed past like 100 to 200k elo everybody's just hawking or keto and yeah, speed kind of just fell off. It used to be the best thing in the entire game, and now it's just trash. Let's move on to the final thing of the video. There are two phases of Hakata players. The newbies who got smoked by a Hakata player and don't know what they're doing. These types of players typically end up quitting playing Hakata, most of the time because it's actually pretty complicated to learn at the start. All the moves are super confusing, but once you get it down and you transition to the average Hakata player, these guys only play ranked. Hakata is pretty mid outside of 1v1s, it's viable, but you won't really be boss running anyone with Hakata, and for that reason every single Hakata main sits in ranked Pulling their mouse in circles trying to get me to miss parry into their Hakata Chu combo that for some reason to my Chu here arrow Vasto does like half my freaking HP. Alright, Hakata's damage is one of the most under talked about things in the entire game and that's the main reason people rage at Hakata and don't like Hakata players is because if they mess up one combo or one parry, they just get hit with the most nasty Hakata combo and for that entire fight, any more mishaps is going to lead to the exact same thing and they're going to lose the remainder of their HP. That's kind of why Hakata players have a bad reputation. But generally speaking, I feel like Hakata in of itself is not that big of an issue as long as it gets like a slight damage nerf in my opinion. And maybe some of these true combos, you know, get in patched. But yeah, overall, that is the end of the video, guys. Yo, like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. I'm trying to hit 4k by the end of the month. Please help me out and discord.gg slash badslc.